Good morning, Devil's Lake High School. Here are your announcements for Wednesday, October 6th. I'm Bryn. Creative Writing Club will have its first meeting on October 20th after school in room 110. All students are welcome to attend. There is to be no driving between the LACTC building and the construction house. All vehicles must go around. If any boys are interested in playing hockey this winter, please sign up in the high school office. Students, hats and hoods are not to be worn in the building. Students, negative lunch cards need to be paid in full. Students, please remind your parents to call in for you when you're not going to be in school. Accurate attendance is very important. Thank you. There is an assembly at 9 a.m. today. Use Schedule 20. Parent-teacher conferences on Thursday, 2.30 dismissal. No school on Friday. Your lunch for today is fajita wrap with corn, fresh veggies, fruit, milk. Your weather is a high of 84 and a low of 55 with a 0% chance of precipitation. And your quote of the day is, it is never too late to be what you might have been. George E. Light. These have been your morning announcements. Have a great day. Hi, welcome to Caden and Gabby's book review. Over the summer, the library here at DLHS has gotten 63 new books. Unfortunately, we can't review all 63 of them, but we're here to bring you three of the books. So I'll start off with the first new book, Destination Anywhere by Sarah Bernard. Sometimes you have to leave your life behind to find a place in the world. Peyton King has always wanted to belong. After years of not fitting in, she seizes the opportunity to start over at a new school and finally finds what seems like real connections. A group of friends she's always dreamed of, and even a boyfriend. But after flying high in her newfound happiness, Peyton comes crashing down when reality sets in, and the ones she cares about she let down on a horrible, traumatic night. With nothing but her sketch pad, a backpack, she buys a one-way ticket on a plane. How far will she go to change her story? So that definitely sounds like an interesting story, and we'll see what happens with Peyton in Destination Anywhere. Okay, so the book that I chose is called Notes from a Young Black Chef, a memoir. He connected to cooking via his mother in the family's modest Bronx apartment. From that spark, he launched his own catering company, with $20,000 he made selling candy on the subway after training in the kitchens of some of the most acclaimed restaurants in the country. He faced many challenges on the road to success, including breaking free of a dangerous downward spiral as a result of temptation and easy money, and grappling with just how unwelcoming the world of fine dining can be for people of color. Food phenom Kwan An Wuchi tells the incredible story of how ingenuity in the face of adversity enabled a boy born on Long Island and raised in New York City, Nigeria, and Louisiana to become a top chef star and the owner of five wildly successful restaurants. This book seems really cool and you should check it out in the library. All right, and the final book that we're showing today is In Deeper Waters by F.T. Lukens. Most princes would be eager for their coming-of-age tour, but Tal isn't most princes. He knows he can't partake in the adventure and debauchery of his siblings enjoyed on their tours. Not while letting loose could accidentally mean revealing his forbidden magic and upending his kingdom's hard-won peace. But when his ship's crew rescues a mysterious prisoner from a burning, derelict vessel just a few days into the journey, his world changes. Tal is surprised to feel an intense connection with the roguish Athlan. So when Athlan leaps overboard and disappears, Tal feels responsible and heartbroken knowing that Athlan could not have survived on the open ocean. That is, until Tal runs into Athlan days later on dry land, very much alive and charming and secretive as ever. But before they can pursue anything further, Tal is kidnapped by pirates and held for ransom in a plot to reveal his rumored powers and investigate a war. Tal must escape if he hopes to not only save himself, but his family and his kingdom. Athlan might just be his only hope. So we'll see what happens with Tal and Athlan and in deeper waters. So those were just three of the new books here at DLHS. And if you're interested in any of them, you can stop by and check them out and check out the other 60 new books that we weren't able to review. So, All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace out.